What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, yes, we finally did it, guys. We defeated our daddy for our fifth badge. That's right. Not only that, but we got ourselves the Surf Technique, you know, that move. And uh, did I teach it to my Pokemon? I want to know. I really, really want to know. No, I don't think so. Yes, off screen, I actually taught some of my Pokemon some moves, and I think I forgot to put in the Surf Technique. So now, let's get rid of that Water Gun attack and put in Surf, and uh, would you look at that. Swamp Lord now knows Surf, which is good. Very, very good. Now, in this episode, we're finally going to be surfing all over the place. You know, from place to place, it doesn't really matter. Um, first is first, let's just go ahead and take a look at what what's being offered right here. What's being hidden on the places that, you know, have water, like right here. As you can see, we found our Max Revive. I know that there's another big river or a little lake right there in the front. Yeah. We're going to take care of all the places that surf, including... Uh, I think we're going to make our way to Dufort Town surfing. And then after that, just head on over to Slateport City. So it's going to be like a two-part episode right here. Now, if you go right here, you'll be able to find something else, and uh, that is a need there. Now, I think there's a rare candy on the other side, so that's what's exactly what I'm going to be doing right here. I'm going to be doing this surf, taking advantage of it. As you can see, there's nothing there, but we find ourselves a rare candy, which is good. All right. And uh, let's see. I think there's something else. Now, if you go straight up to Old Dale Town, let me just show you right here. I don't think there's anything uh, like important right here in the, the areas where, you know, there's little lakes right here. But if you go up to Old Dale Town and, of course, you go straight up north to Route one, uh, 103. And, uh, oh, crap. Forgot to put on some repels. Hey, would you look at that, Poochiana. Doesn't that remind you of a Pokemon that we used to have on our team? Yeah, we're not going to battle you. Mm -mm. But, yeah, if you go to Route 103, you'll be able to actually get to, uh... To, I think Route 114, Route 103, continued or something like that. So that's that's not part of the plan, but that is, you know, eventually we're gonna be going over there some at some point. But our main mission right now, we're gonna head on over to. Hmm. Yeah, we're we're we're, we're gonna go straight up to uh, we're gonna go straight to Dufer Town surfing. We're gonna be battling a bunch of trainers right here. And uh, like I said, off screen, I actually taught some of my Pokemon some new moves. Um, let's see, let me pause right here in Patrick's uh, City. So, some of my Pokemon, no, or I, I taught some of my Pokemon some new moves. So, I think I taught Main Nectric Return, which is cool. Let's see, nothing right there. And uh, yes, I taught Gaia Facade because, of course, Gaia's. Yeah, guy, guy, guy always gets paralyzed, poisoned, and all that stuff. I know that it has a uh, trace and all that stuff, but oh wait, trace doesn't really do anything. I, I was thinking of synchronize. Now, who else did? Yeah, I taught. Of course, I taught Swamp Lord uh, Surf, but it all, I also taught him the secret power as well. So, you know, we need we we need to teach our Pokemon different moves, get them out more powerful, and all that stuff. So we're gonna continue on right here on Route 104, and uh, yeah, not. Yeah, not going to, to battle that kid now. Main thing that you guys need is repels because you will be battling a bunch of uh, wild uh, wild Pokemon right here. And uh, I got seven repels, which is good. I probably should sell some of the, those uh, items right there too. And uh, it's a good place to actually train my Pokemon right here. So let's get this started right here. The vast sea, so peaceful and all that stuff. So here we go, we have ourselves a swimmer, female Imani. Imani. How you doing, girl there? She's coming out with her Meryl. And uh, I don't know why I used Return. I was a little too quick to the trigger. But as you can see, Return is doing rather okay right now. Now remember, Return, it depends on how much your Pokemon loves you. And uh, since I just got raided in like a few... I don't know, a few episodes ago. I don't think it loves me that much. Not just yet. And as you can see, destroyed Meryl. And look at that. My Pokemon kicking butt, doing everything, taking names. And uh, let's see. I think we're going to be exploring everything around here. And uh, unfortunately, I do not have a Pokemon higher than uh, level 26. And as you can see, we got a Tentacool at level 29. I might as well just battle him because... You know, experience points. 
train my Pokemon up, you know, make them stronger before the next gym battle, which we won't be getting to, like, way later on. And as you can see, in those bubble beams, so that's a pretty good uh, pretty good move for a Pokemon. Now, remember, I, in my old Pokemon Emerald walkthrough, the second one, the 2013 edition, I actually had Tentacool as a team member, and it did rather well. It actually saved my butt quite a few times. And uh, I'm not going right there. I'm actually going to just keep on going, see if I meet up with somebody else right here. And uh, would you look at that? Okay, so we got ourselves another battle right here. Speedo Torpedo says, Swimming the deep blue sea, it feels the greatest. Alrighty, bring it on. So as you can see, we got Swimmer, Swimmerman uh, Dominic, Speedo Torpedo, and he's coming out with his tentacle. And, uh, well, I'm just going to stay uh, straight up, stay with Raiden right here. Alrighty. As you can see, there you go. As you can see, we got ourselves another shockwave right here. And I'm, of course, I'm listening to some WWE right now. You know, WWE Fastlane. Pretty cool stuff. <laughs> and as you can see, we defeated Tentacool. And uh, look at that. Tentacool, or Raiden, grows to level 27 right there. And that's easy right there. That's good. That's good. All right. So, so, so we did that. Let's go right ahead and switch up. Switch it up with uh, Shroom Lee right here. Now, this is another good place for Shroom Lee to actually battle, train all, and get more levels and all that stuff. And, uh, hmm, there we go. And we, got, we got a person right here. So we're going to be battling him. Let's see what he can do. He's like, there's supposed to be a mythical rock around here. Do you know anything of it? I kind of do. I kind of maybe do. Somewhat. I don't know. I think everybody does. So here we go, Ruin Maniac, Maniac Foster, and here we go, Shroom Lee. Let's get this thing right here. Let's go with the Mega Drain. That's right, the Mega Drain right here. And uh, boom, it takes a, well, destroys Sandshrew right there. Sandshrew. Makes Sandshrew look so dumb. And uh, gain more experience points. And here we come out with a Sand Slash. So I'm gonna just stay right here. Probably should have a sand slash on my team pretty soon here. Kind of want to. Always meant to actually get a sand true and a sand slash, but somehow I just like something just prevents me from getting this Pokemon. It's actually one of my favorite Pokemon when it was only 151 Pokemon. And look at that, you just got paralyzed, you jerk. All right, let's get this. Mega Drain for the win. Sand slash defeated. And I'm feeling good about myself right now. That's pretty good. Pretty good stuff. And look at that. Shroom Lee, level 31. It's getting a lot of levels. That's pretty good. Pretty good. All right. So what about this this whole mythical rock right here? Now, I can't move anywhere because this guy's, you know, big old bellies in the way. So let's just move on right here. And there's somebody right there. And uh, let's go right. Oh, there's somebody right there. There's probably two people right there. So let's go, let's go ahead and see what we got. Oh yeah, we got a double battle right here. And it looks like a hiker and a uh, flying guy. Hold on just a sec, guys. Alrighty, so yeah, I just got called on the phone and everything. So we're going back right here, we have a double battle. So let's see what we got. We got a flying guy and we got a... We got a good guy that you know he uses rock type Pokemon. So let's just go ahead and just keep uh, Shroomly and uh, Raiden right here. So let's go. Bring it on. As you can see, I'm exhausted from swimming. I'm just not used to it. I need to battle for a pace a change. And here's his music. And he's like, I'm convinced that the sea keeps secrets from us. That is true. That is so freaking true. The sea has a lot of secrets and it's just, it, it's scary. Damn nature, you scary. So here we go. Take it on Andres and Josue. And they're coming out with a ground and flying type Pokemon. Okay, all right. So I'm capable of beating these two. All right. Let's see what we got. Mega Dram for you and a Spark for you. So there's that quick attack. Doesn't paralyze him because he doesn't have that static. And there we go. Eat it. Eat it good. So there we go. Defeated a Taylor right there. And uh, well, let's see what, what Pokemon is coming out. Ooh, big mistake. Got the wrong Pokemon for this job right here. And uh, here we go with that Mega Drain. And Mega Drain drains all of Santru's uh, abilities or not. It's soul, everything. It just drains everything. As you can see, 
we're just kicking butt right now. Perfect tag team right here in the sea. On the, the sea. So here we go again. Same Mega Drain. Spark on this guy. And what happens next? I don't know. Bye bye, Wingle. Ooh. Wingle doesn't feel so good right now. No, Wingle defeated. And here we go with another Mega Drain. And uh, would you look at that? It drains his soul away. Pretty happy about that. I really am. So there we go. Sand True defeated. Shroom Lee. Raiden gained experience points. And uh, yes, we defeated everybody. Everybody and their mamas. That's right. And of course, this guy would love to give me his phone number because, you know, he wants to battle me and all that. So what we're going to do now is I'm actually going to kill my, my Raiden because, yeah, he's not too good on the defensive part. But, you know, need to keep him alive just for this whole adventure right here. So let's go right ahead and swim on over to wherever we need to go. And there, oh, I thought I was trapped right there. And, uh, yep, we got another Pokemon attacking us. What? Level 6? Oh, no, wait, 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 I... Oh, crud. I think the repel wore off. Yeah, I, I forgot about that. So, let's go back to the, the repel, and, uh... There we go. Good repel, and we're moving on. And, ooh, would you look at that? My body feels lighter in the water! It's as if... It's as if I'd gotten slimmer. Okay. Whatever you say, honey. So here we go, another battle. This time against Beverly, and she's coming out with her Wingle. I think I'm at a disadvantage. Advantage slash disadvantage right here. So what I'm gonna do is strength it up. I'm gonna show my strength with my little T-Rex arms. That's right. Hmm. And coming out with the Wilmer. So let's go with, let's go right ahead with Raiden right here. See what they can do. Lexi, Lexi, Lexi. Raiden. Got a thunder. And look at that. Whalmer looking like a big old tub of a uh, big old tub of blubber right there. But the big old tub of blubber gets defeated real quickly with a spark attack. Look at that. That doesn't feel so good, huh? And uh yeah, look at that. Raiden just you know, Raiden's kicking butt right now. I'm liking it. Alrighty, so let's see. Where's that mythical rock? Oh, there it is. So as you can see, guys, this is the second of the two or three rocks that you know we will be encountering. This is a mythical rock. Of course, there's nothing there right now. Um, later on in our adventure, we're gonna open up a secret passage to actually, you know, get in and capture whatever mythical Pokemon is in there. Um, as of right now, we're just looking at it, you know, spectators and all that stuff. So well, let's go back to battling right here. And this guy is looking at us, and he's like, "Whoa." I was worried that a kid was drowning when I saw you. You seem to be okay, so what do you say to a battle? I say, let's do this. Bring it on. So here we have Speedo Torpedo Swimmer Luis coming out with his uh, Carvana. Ooh. Oh crud. Carvana. Alright, Carvana. Let's go with the Mega Drain. I don't want to get hurt. I really don't want to get hurt. And Carvana's been defeated. Oh yeah. Look at that Carvana, just it, it's not happy. You know, back then I thought Carvana was like a separate Pokemon. I never thought that it would actually evolve into a Sharpedo. Really, like no joke guys, I thought that Carvana was just a single stage Pokemon. And then, lo and behold, I evolved it to Sharpedo and I was like, wow, didn't know that. I really, really didn't know that. And wow, a level 34 Tentacool. So we're... I guess we're a little bit under level right now, and uh, you know what, I'm just, yeah, I'm gonna beat this tentacle up, no way it's gonna let us go, and uh, here we go, strength attack, oh yes, and nearly beats this tentacle, come on, mock punch, that's right, who's fast, I'm fast, that's right, say goodbye to tentacle, alrighty. And uh, we get experience points. Look at that. We're getting a, we're getting a buttload of experience points just because you know we're I guess we're a little bit under leveled right now. I guess the only Pokemon that's not under leveled is uh I want I want to say uh, Swamp Lord. Yeah, Swamp Lord's not that under leveled. And here we found ourselves an iron, which is good, very very good. So let's go right ahead and surf once more time. Let's see. Let's see what else we can find right here. Oh, there's uh, another individual right there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch it up right now go back to Raiden 
The mission is trying to get everybody at level 30 before our next gym battle. And this guy right here is like, ha 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 ha, I'm a lousy runner, but in the water you can't touch me. I don't even want to touch you, brother. But that's a lie right there. So here we have Speeder Torpedo Douglas. And he wants to battle us with a tentacle. Bring it. Just bring it with a shockwave. Look at that. Never misses. Hmm. Will it miss to a dug, uh, dig attack or fly attack? I want to know that. Comment down below, guys. And uh, Raiden's kicking butt. Look at that. Raiden's about to grow to level 28, which is good. And uh, here we go with a spark attack. Yeah. Eat that spark. That's right. Not a transformer spark, but it's still a spark spark. And there we go. Raiden's defeated, or Raiden grows to level 28. And, uh, alrighty. Okay. So, let's move on right here. And, uh, ooh, look. No, we don't have a double battle. And, uh, the repel has worn off. So, before we even battle any kind of other Pokemon here that are not our level or anything like that, we just gotta use another repel right here. And, uh, let's go ahead and battle this chick right here. The sea is my backyard. I'm not going to take it easy because you're a kid. Alrighty. I am a kid at heart, but... I don't know about uh, taking it easy on me. So here she comes out with the Whalmer. Seems to be a very popular Pokemon right now. Yeah, very popular Pokemon. So let's go with the Shockwave. Yeah. Shockwave attack. Does it. Finishes him off. Oh, yes. More experience points. Look at that. Yeah. It's like, did you take it on, or did you take it easy on me by any chance? No. It was just type advantages, that's all. Type advantages, and we're right here and grabbing this protein, which is good. Very, very good. And, uh, okay, I, I guess I gotta swim just one more time right here. And, uh, there's nothing right there. I don't know why I did, uh, why I did that. I should've just got up and, and surfed. So, as you can see, there's nothing right there except uh, this route right here, which I can't remember, Route 114 or something? I don't know. Very, very popular, and uh, would you look at that? We we are back in Doofer Town, so we're gonna stay right here for just a little bit, guys. Stay tuned. In the next episode, we're gonna take a small detour before we head head into Slateport City. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.